Do you know why? Do you know why? This is what I want to discuss this morning. Thank you for watching for our 10 minutes at 10 a.m. Um, today's a special day in our household. We actually celebrate two births today. So two of our nine children were born on the same day today. So we have a special day today, special day planned um, to celebrating two births today. You know, out of 365 days, two of them actually get born on the same day out of our nine children. And there's a reason behind that too, but um, maybe another time we'll go into that. My wife and I can go into that portion as well. But again, um, do you know why? And this was, actually I like it when I can come on and share something that um, someone else kind of posed to me, which is interesting. Uh, yesterday, just in my normal course of uh, business, someone asked me, they was like, oh, you know, I've seen you on Facebook. And a lot of people tell me they see me on Facebook live and um, she was saying how uh, she attempts to keep up, but, you know, it's a lot because I do it every day. I mean, it is, <laughs> it, it is a lot, but um, she attempts to keep up. But then she just asked me, oh, oh, why are you doing it? And it's just, it's not like, I, I gave an answer for why, and I even want to share with you um, part of that, but just even understanding the importance of why. And uh, part of the answer I gave her was something I even, the first, very first time you guys might have seen me doing this um, was back in January. So a couple months ago now, so almost two months. I've been doing almost two months, just about every day. And I said, you know, I was following instructions, the Lord uh, directed me to come on here. And it wasn't something that I wanted to do. And I said to you that very first day, I said, you know, you guys don't even need to watch me. Because <laughs> it was for my own personal development. And this was something that I had to overcome, even just coming on live and, you know, for those who have done live, you know, it's, it's just, it's a different way when you, uh, right in front of the camera. It's not like you have a person in front of you. I think it's so much easier actually when you have people there in front of you because you can talk, you can connect, you can relate. But when you're just faced with a, um, a dot <laughs> and a screen and you have to talk and to engage. So, uh, part of it, the initial, initial why I want to start doing it was just, as far as my own personal development and even really challenging, uh, doing something that's challenging uh, to get better at it, realizing that there's a, a call even for me to do more things online as well too. I had to get over first, you know, get through this challenge. And that was what I would say was the initial um, reason why I got started. And then, you know, you start something, and this is a path that even like you go through life and you start something, you may not understand fully why, but you're just, whether being obedient or what have you, you're just doing it. And then as you do it, then it starts to unfold and you start to see even some other things that's happening as a result of it. So I've gotten many people who've commented to me and told me, you know, they've been enjoying, um, the, whether it's the shorts or some of the long forms as well. Uh, well, longest, it's, it's probably really short too for 10 minutes, but, and it's encouraging them. So in that way, I start to see also part of the why, which I, I wasn't really intending it necessarily for that, but that was my initial uh, start, but I see part and it, it oftentimes has other plans in place for things that we just aren't aware of, but we just, our responsibility is just to start doing it and then it can unfold as we go along. Maybe we won't even know fully how much of an impact it will have or how much of a reach or what, what this thing will actually uh, do, but we just trust in believing as we're being obedient and we're going forth in this thing. So that was the why, I'm going with that. Uh, but even further than just that, my dad, my father, I think from young, he really trained me to have an answer of why to doing the different things I do. Uh, he always would question me in regards to like what I was doing and I had to be able to respond to him and tell him the reason behind what I was doing, whether it was, whether I was, you know, going out to hang out with friends, whether it was going to the movies, whether it was um, doing something, um, whatever business or thing, you know, there, there was, in my mind, he was going to ask me and oftentimes he did. So I had to know why I was doing it. And this is so very, 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 very important of knowing the why behind why we do things. 
And this is a fantastic book, and I'm not even going that direction, but I read the book, it's Starting With Why, and it's a really good book. I would encourage you to get that book and, and read that book, and it goes into why as well. But just, I would really encourage you to, to know the why. And for me, it gave me an, a, a, just like I got that question yesterday, and I was able to respond to her immediately, I didn't really have to stop and think. I gave her, you know, started why I started it, and even some of the things as we're going further into it. But... It helps us to be able to respond when we are asked questions by others and even for ourselves. It, it, it gives us the motivation to keep doing something when we know the why, when we know what it is, um, like the core that's driving us along this path. Because so many times we do things like haphazardly, we're kind of just doing it and a lot of people maybe not, don't know exactly why, but then you know what happens when you do stuff like that? Then you lose focus. You get distracted easily. You get off course easily because you never really had the, okay, this is why I'm doing This is why I'm heading this direction. I'm going there because I need to get there. But if we're just starting in the path going there and don't have a why, then any little thing can turn us off or turn us in a different direction. But know the why behind what you're doing. And it helps us even in making decisions in life. Know why we're doing it. And I would say even... Like I said, with making decisions, it also helps us to leave certain things sometimes too. Because if these things are not no longer in line with our why we're doing it, then it just helps to really simplify. And I like the, the word today, simple. Simplify our lives by considering why we're doing it. And then if it's no longer uh, whatever it is that we're doing is not matching with the why, then those things can kind of fall off as we are going on with our purpose towards our why. So it helps to keep us, I think, in a simplified mode of living. Again, we can, it motivates us to keep going, but then it also um, allows us to get rid of some things that no longer is getting us towards our why, or that's no longer helping to propel us towards our why. So it's simplified in that, in that fact. Now, I also, you know, I'm going to bring it into two ways. So I, I always uh, definitely going to bring the gospel into this message of Christ. And you know, he had a purpose when he came. There was a why, why, why he came. And this was even the driving force why he went through. And it says that he humbled himself because he knew that he was here for a specific purpose. And when you know your why, even as Christ knew why he was here, it will help you to endure whatever trials, whatever challenges, whatever obstacles. Yesterday we spoke about having peace through the storms. It helps us to endure whatever storms may come our way because we know there is an end point. Once we get through those storms, there's a why we're doing it and there's an end point that we'll reach. So Christ knew it and that was really for us. That he, had, he, he came for us to benefit from. He came for us to benefit from his life and from his death. Even, even as we celebrate Holy Week this week. So he understood his why and it helped him to weather whatever storms came his way. So same thing for us. When we understand why we do certain things in life, it'll help us to weather whatever storms that we may come across in our lives. And so one area I definitely want to relate it into the gospel and the good news that Christ died for our sins and he rose from the dead and we were the reason why for him, which was fantastic. But then... On the other side, I'll say, well, it's not, really, it's not really on the other side, but in regards to, to grief and, you know, we may lose a loved one. I say, I'm, my name is Samuel Stewart. I help people to live after a death. So I'm here for people who have gone through the loss of a loved one and even our business caters to those kind of people, to those people, because we, we were there and we still have people during this time. But that same question, a lot of times people are getting caught in the question of why did this person leave or why does this person have to die but i'm a, even as we're about to wrap up right now i just want to have you to maybe even consider to reframe because a lot of times in life we ask the wrong question all right that's this is a deeper topic than i can go into in the one minute that we have remaining so we ask the wrong question but instead when when someone might have left our lives unexpectedly or just a loved one is no longer here instead of asking the question you know why did they have to die how about reframing it and asking the question, well, why did the Lord allow them to be in my life? Why were they, you know, 
what did they add to me? What did they help me with? What did they help me to see or learn about myself? Why did why were they in my life in a positive way and really look to extract um, the wonderful memories and lessons that we could have gained from this person in our lives? So again, oftentimes we ask the wrong question. Instead of saying, why did this person have to die? We can say, well, why were they, why, why was I blessed to have them in my life? What was a blessing that they, they really caused for me to have by me having them in my life? And it'll help us just to even get through, just like we talk about the whys, it'll help us get through the storms, even going through grieving, when just we reframe that question just a little bit and see that there was a reason that the Lord had them in your life for whatever time it was, however long or short, and start to even um, focus on the life that was lived. You know, we're, we're all going to leave here at one point or another. So let's, even when someone leaves, let's see how we can focus on the life that was here and what they added to us. And it'll help us to get through. So hopefully this was helpful for you. Um, asking that question why. Thank you for watching for our 10 minutes at 10. And we will be back again tomorrow. You get better at what you keep doing. So practice doing good things.